Hey guys, so today I'm filming another video in my car. Oh, those sunglasses freaking killing my head, man. Um, I'm sorry about the curly hair. I can't help it. I have curly hair. Um, today's video is going to be a bit of like a positive boost kind of situation. Um, I just wanted to do something like nice and happy and yeah. So you can probably tell by the title of the video, this is going to be about being okay. And recently I've been on some weird medication and it made me feel kind of like numb and not in a dramatic sense but like I just felt really empty and like I felt nothing and I don't really know how to describe it but I just felt like a robot like just pottering around like not really actually thinking or feeling anything so I changed all that and I've sorted myself out and I'm feeling way better but I wanted to give you guys some advice, tips, if you will, like things that I've found to keep yourself like feeling okay. Feeling okay with yourself, feeling okay with your future, feeling okay about the people around you and feeling okay about stuff that's already happened to you because obviously you can't dwell on shit otherwise it makes you feel shit. So I've got some like ideas and tips and tricks and I've got my laptop here where I've written some ideas, I'm just going to find a place to prop my camera up because I'm in a car so there's like nowhere for me to balance it, like the dashboard is like curved. So yeah, great. I'll be back in a minute when i found somewhere to put my Okay, the only place I've managed to find that I can prop my camera is on the seat opposite me. So I'm sitting sideways for you guys. Um, okay, so I've kind of decided how I'm going to talk about things and I'm just going to let this video be a bit rambly and try to like not edit it as much as I can. Oh my god, I'm going to fall asleep. Oh my god. No, Ella, you're filming a video. Okay. And also, I'm really sorry that I have like pen and things in my arms. I literally just got out of an exam and my fingers are killing where I've been writing. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing is feeling okay about your past, and I've got like notes here because I'm prepared. Um, the first thing is feeling okay about your past, and I think as well you need to kind of come to the conclusion and accept that like bad and good things have happened in your past, and that's not going to change. You can't go back and change how things happened. It is not your fault what's happened, and you can't change it. So there's literally no point dwelling on it and I just want to say to you guys like please take everything I say like don't take it like literally like these are just ideas you don't have to do them and obviously it's easy to say oh don't dwell on it it's like way easier said than done so I've also got some tips to like help you to do that but for now I'm just gonna go through everything so yeah accepting that good and bad things have happened not this one's really important not ignoring bad memories, not necessarily even bad memories, but you know, if you're upset, you've lost someone that meant a lot to you or whether they've passed away or you've just fallen out with them and they're no longer in your life, you kind of just have to accept that that has happened and instead of like being upset about it, I find like actually challenging it in my mind and thinking, actually no, we had good times like think of all the good things that you have with that person and you will soon start to not miss them or not necessarily not miss them because obviously like my granddad passed away and I miss him every day but instead of being sad about it I think of all the things I loved like when he'd sit in the garden and play with me obviously I was only like six but I remember these little things and like going to the farm and like he'd let me like pet the cows and stuff. I know that's really random but I live in the countryside so that's the kind of stuff you did with your grandparents. Um, but yeah, remembering like the good things that happened and what they taught you I think is a good one. Like if you've had a really bad experience, like someone you've fallen out with, you're really upset, you hate them or whatever. Just remember everything you've learned from that experience. From that negativity, you've got to take something good and that something good is what they will have taught you. Whether it's how to be mature, how to 
hold your tongue a bit more, that you should be less sensitive, or anything like that basically, you will have learnt something from that negative experience and I think that's what you've got to take from it rather than dwelling on it and being like, oh that was horrible, like I'm so upset, I'm so mad, you've got to kind of try not to think that way and try and think, yeah I was mad, but now I've learnt so much and I'm a better person for it, like you just have to be okay with it, like be in the now and worry, well don't worry, but keep your like conscious thoughts on now. It doesn't matter what your brain's wandering off thinking about, you think about now, what you're doing right now, like I'm filming a video right now, I'm not worrying about anything else that's happening in this world or anything else that's happening in the future or what has happened I'm just focusing on now because this is keeping me happy and that's what I'm gonna do I've had my finger on the delete key so it's all gone so I'm just gonna ramble um, feeling okay about your future the way I look at this and like the things I've taught from like because obviously I've had therapy and stuff like it wasn't actual therapy it was like CBT and like they tried to do all that with me when I was like 13 before they decided to put me on medication so I've had an awful lot of like sessions and I met one lady who was actually really good I don't want to say her name though because I don't want to like I don't know is that bad her name was Amy but I won't tell you where she worked or anything because that's weird um <clears throat> and this was all funded by the NHS thank god vote labour um <laughs> Yeah, this is all funded by the NHS, so I didn't like go out and pay 50 quid a session, like, this was just what they offered me and I took it. But I met this lady called Amy and she was actually really nice. She was so grounded on my level and I think, and I might be wrong, but she practiced Buddhism. She wasn't an actual like Buddha and all that, but she was really into like karma and meditation and like all those kind of things. I'm not very educated on that topic, so I'm sorry if I am being... I don't know. Yeah, she did all that kind of stuff and she taught me about being in the now and I know we just spoke about that but whatever happens in your future I like to think everything happens for a reason and even if that isn't the case it keeps my mind at rest anyway because I just think if something bad happens tomorrow that's just going to happen to prevent something worse happening or that's going to happen to teach me something or if something good happens then it's like that's that's happened because you know I've been bloody working hard recently and I deserve that you know like everything happens for a reason and you've just got to think that like if you for example me um I have exams and things and I've got interviews coming up because obviously I've applied for like apprenticeships and things to fill my time because YouTube is a hobby at the moment um yeah I'm worried about those interviews but instead of being like oh my god oh my god and like staying up late at night like because I have done that in the past like I'll be shaking I can't get to sleep I'll have like cold sweats like I'll just feel sick and my heart is beating fast and like I can hear my heartbeat in my head and I'm like freaking out like in and out the bathroom like pouring cold water on my hands to try and like calm me down because that does calm me down for some reason if I pour cold water on my wrists but there's a teacher coming. I'm in the school car park waiting for my mum, by the way. I'm not just like pulled up in a random car park, like, yeah, I'm gonna film a video here. Like, if I were at home, I'd be filming at home, like in my normal setup, but I wanted to do a video today, so this is what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna wait for him to walk past. You're probably gonna see him walk past. How awkward. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Actually dying at myself right now I'm here like don't worry about things in the future guys like be positive no it is not that easy and I'm not saying it is like you just have to work through it and like try your hardest honestly that's all I can say where were we not worrying about things okay so one thing I found that that lady Amy this lovely lady Amy that we we're talking about she told me to find myself a hobby because I've always had like various interests, like I really enjoy writing, hence my blog, um, I really enjoy makeup, hence my makeup, um, I love music, I always listen to music, but she was like, you need to actually channel your energy into something, rather than just thinking, oh, I'll write a piece here and then, she was like, start a blog, that woman is responsible for my blog, god damn it, <laughs> like, 
I started that blog and now whenever I'm worried about something I'm like no I'm gonna think of a topic to write about I'm gonna think of some points I'm gonna take some cool pictures to go in the blog post and I'm gonna work on it and that will take a good couple of hours and that will distract me and by then I've forgotten about the interviews and I'm not worried anymore and I can just chill out so you've got to find something that you're passionate about whether it's sports and you enjoy running or something when you're anxious just let me go for a run pop your earphones in like run the anxiety away that sounded weird. Don't run away from your anxiety. <laughs> run the anxiety off. Like you run the calories off, you run the anxiety off too. I find that actually really helps. Because we're on the topic of like the future and things, I figured there's like, I'm talking from my own experiences basically, so. I love this, I love this shit. Not sponsored, but I love this shit. Um, I went through a phase of like, sorry, I'm like trying to like get chill and comfy and my arm looks really gross. Um, I need to stop saying um as well in all my videos I'm like, um. With your future, you've got to think, like, I did a blog post I think about being more carefree, I, I will link that below because that like, relates to this topic but I used to worry about like I'd get dressed in the morning and then I'd look at myself in the mirror and think have I seen anyone else wear this and it wasn't because I was worried I'd look the same what it was was that I wanted to look the same I was like oh I'll wear that hoodie because I've seen some like of the pop some of the poppy girls like wearing a hoodie like that and I used to like get myself into this weird place I never knew it was bad for me until like I started actually like thinking about like the negative things I guess I was doing I'm really sorry, someone's like leaf blown. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Okay, I'm just gonna carry on. I don't even know if you can hear that. It's probably just me. Yeah, I used to get myself into such like a twist about like whether I would fit in, if I looked okay, if my socks went well with my Converse. Like I never even had a proper pair of Converse. I used to wear like fake ones from like, like I had like a pair of Lee Cooper ones. And I used to think, oh, I'm never going to be able to afford a real pair of Converse. Oh, I'm like, I'm never going to be like those other girls. I'm, I'm never going to look good in a crop top. Like, I felt so shitty and I'd like, I wouldn't actually say those things to myself, but that was like in the back of my mind, like consciously I'd be like, oh, I'll put something cool on. And in the back of my head it was like, because you need to look like them. Do not worry about that stuff. Like now, today I've come out in like a weird ass dress. I like it. No one else has been wearing it. I've not seen anyone else in a weird like tunic dress. Like everyone wears skater skirts and shit. But like I don't give a fuck. Like it's hot out. I'm gonna have my arms out even though they're pale as heck and I've got scars and whatnot. And if you take any message from this video, please do not give a damn about anything other than now. Who you are and what matters most to you. Like do not let other people influence that. Don't let things that are happening in the future make you anxious now. Don't let things that have happened in the past make you feel sad now. Don't let those things from either side come in. Focus on now, you, and what you're doing right now. Like, as long as you're happy and you're not hurting anyone, like, you're perfect. You're a thriving human being. You are doing it right. Like, yeah. So, moving on, I also wrote here being okay about, like, now. Now? Now, yeah. And this kind of just links in because we just talked about, like, being okay with things in the future, like... So, we just talked about being okay with things in your future and being okay with things in your past, but now we're talking about being okay now. And it kind of, I kind of went on a tangent in that last clip because I was talking about random shit, but oh, I think everyone's finishing pee now and they're coming off the field, god damn it. I just think when you're focusing on now, it's not even about focusing, it's just about training your mind not to like wander as much, like I took it way too literally when she told me to focus on the now, I was like, but what if, what if I want to book a hair appointment for next week what if I want to plan to see a 
meet up with a teacher next week. Not meet up, like they do like one-on-ones in the classrooms and stuff to help you. That sounded really weird. Um, what if I want to plan something? And she was like, no, you're planning that now. That's a now thing. But you don't worry about what that teacher's going to say to you until you're walking in that classroom and you're talking to that teacher. Like, it took me a while to get my head around that because it was like kind of confusing. But don't worry about it until it's happening. And if you're not worried about it, then hell yeah, cool. Like, get excited about it. Get, like, if you've planned a holiday, be excited about it. Like, but don't be nervous. Like, I know that's so easy to say. I'm going on holiday to Spain at the end of August and I'm nervous about getting on that plane and I really don't like flying, but I've told myself no, I'm going to get excited, I'm going to pack my stuff, I'm going to think about the holiday, and I'm not going to worry about that aeroplane until I'm on it. I don't need to even think about that aeroplane until I'm on it, and I'm doing it. And then there's no going back, and you'll you'll be fine once you're in that situation. Like, Okay, that man is still leaf blowing, I have no idea where I was in the video, my mum is coming back to the car in a minute to take me home. Um... I just wanted to say thank you for watching and like I honestly don't care about views or likes or how many people go on my channel or whatever but if just one person watches this and they find a bit of like reassurance or positivity or motivation or whatever in whatever way that this might help them then like that is my job done like that's all I want to do I want to show people that if they feel shit there is a way out and the main message of this video was do not give a damn and I'm thinking of changing the name from being okay to don't give a fuck <laughs> but I'll think about it and you'll see when this video is up um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this guys um subscribe if you wanna I'll probably do more of these because I do a lot of makeup videos and I've been getting a bit like not bored that's really awful um but I've like run out of makeup looks to do so if anyone has any ideas or anything like, I'm fed up of doing, like, cut creases, and I feel like there's only so many different colour smoky eyes you can do. So, I'm gonna have, like, a think and get back to you on that one. Um, yeah, I post videos every Saturday, and sometimes on Wednesday, if you're lucky. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next week.